Hey, what's going on guys? So, today I figured I'd make a video on beginner horror movies. And I went through part of this list and I think it's a pretty solid list. So these are going to be really good movies for you to watch if you're thinking about, I guess, delving into the horror genre a little bit more. So let's uh, let's get right to it. So... This first one is interesting. It's the Black Phone. Um, this movie was pretty good. I'd say, I believe it's a PG-13. Uh, well, no, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's R. But <clears throat> I would say this is a good movie to start out with. Um, it deals with abduction and stuff like that and the villain in this situation the grabbers what they call him isn't um i mean he's scary but he doesn't hurt you or anything like that so you got that going but that's a pretty solid one to start off with uh the sixth sense this is a Another good one to start out with. It's PG-13. There are scenes that are, I would say, fairly scary in my eyes. I would consider this more of a thriller than a horror movie. Uh, mainly because of the subjects that it sort of deals with. They kind of fall under the thriller genre more than the horror genre in most cases. But yeah, Sixth Sense is definitely another good one if you're dipping your toes in. A Quiet Place. Now this one is interesting because it deals with the senses and that everyone's got to be quiet. And so this movie is considered horror for me, but it's got a lot of tension throughout it because they have to be quiet and deal with the world that they're living in and sort of adapt to things but I feel like it's very family based too because you know you deal with the family in this movie and John Krasinski is you know really good for making and directing this movie props to him uh, Get Out is one that I would say, yes, is scary. But Get Out deals with more deeper tones in the movie itself that are scary more for the real world. So it may hit home for people differently watching this for the first time. Um... I would say watch this one a little bit later down the line so you kind of get used to horror because there are parts of this uh, movie that can be pretty scary. Uh, Happy Death Day. So this is a fun one. This is a... I really enjoy this horror movie. It's horror mixed with like Groundhog Day in it which I like a lot uh like I said it's fun it's not too scary and it's just it's really enjoyable to watch it you know it it sort of leans on the um it it feels like the high school typical s slasher but she's in college kind of thing if that makes sense but yeah um a really good movie if you just want a horror movie that's also really enjoyable and fun. It's not too scary. Uh, the Others. This one is an interesting one. It is a ghost-based type of film. And I really think... I've said this before in uh, previous videos, but I feel like this movie is pretty underrated for what it is if that makes sense 
being that it's a, uh, you know, like ghosts in a big house kind of movie. I really enjoy that a lot about this film. And I feel like not a lot of people have seen this movie and really should. Uh, the Fog, this is a good one to uh, dip your toes into for sure. Um, I think John Carpenter sort of, after Halloween, kind of took a step back just a little bit. Kind of went a little less scary than Halloween, but still scary enough for his liking. Because... Halloween came out in 1978, then The Fog came out in 1980, and then I believe The Thing came out in like 82 or 83, so a couple years after this movie, and The Thing is definitely not a beginner horror movie for sure, but yeah, The Fog is definitely a good one. Now this one is I feel like the pinnacle of beginner horror. Poltergeist is really good. It is rated PG, but I feel like if it were to have come out today, it would be a borderline between PG-13 and uh, rated R for some of the scenes. But this is another ghost film. And like I said, it's it's rated PG, so it's very fun and tame throughout it. And it has, you know, a few bits and pieces of sort of dark horror to it. It's it's one of those it the easiest way to explain it is it's very fun and lighthearted, very heavily done that way. But then there are pretty dark parts scattered throughout. So it really balances itself out to be considered a horror movie. I'd say if those dark uh, dark scenes and scary scenes in this movie weren't in this movie. Then it would definitely be like a family based movie for sure. Zombieland, this is a good pick because it is heavily a comedy first and horror second. The only reason um, it's considered horror is because there's zombies in it. That's really it. Um, it's a comedy by all standards for sure. But then you've got the zombies that sort of sprinkle in that horror uh, to make it a comedy horror. Uh, Child's Play. So this one is very divisive for some people. Because if you are between the ages of 8 and maybe 11. This movie is going to terrify you. Um, once you get to 12, 13. It's kind of like you know. Yeah I can understand why it's a beginner horror film. But. I would I wouldn't consider this a beginner if you're between those ages of eight to eleven, uh, seven to eleven, stuff like that, because this movie can be very terrifying. And that's the list. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of beginner horror films. Um, I'll say this now. Make sure to watch these films. Even I'd say even if you are already a big horror fan, but you haven't seen some of these, give them a watch. They're really good films, and some of them may scare you, some of them may not. And that's the whole point, is, you know, just give them a watch because most of them are for beginners but they're also fun if you guys like this video please hit the thumbs up button and please hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next video